Trapped in this box, alone on the streets, begging for someone else to love me. I'm searching for you. Are you searching for me? 'Cause I've been abandoned. Yeah, falling behind in the human race. Do you even recognize my face? I'm thinking of who and what I wanted to be, but we don't have no time to waste. I don't believe that it's too late to let the walls fall down. Let your heart give in. Set your emotions free. I was waiting at Town Hall Station, and it was one of those days after high results when everyone felt a little stressed. There was all these problems going on, and I was sitting there, and then a guy came up to me, well, the bench that I was sitting at, and there was a box of uneaten food sitting there, and he picked it up and took it home because, and well, took it wherever he was going because that was the only meal he was getting that day. And it made me think, after all the stress and stuff that we were going through, how things are really not that bad for us. And I thought it was hard working on a project for people doing youth home, for people affected by youth homelessness. But in honest fact, how much harder would it be for the people who are going through youth homelessness? So, like, I know it's hard to get out of your personal bubble of like the day you're living and your homework and Facebook and whatever else is going on in your life. But just this is something easy that you can do that will really make a difference, and it's about making a change, sort of just sticking to what you know. So, please help us. So, if you're homeless, where do you go? So, guys, there are three things you can do to help us with our project. Firstly, you can join us on Facebook and become a part of our campaign. Secondly, you can sign up postcards and write on the Facebook wall. And thirdly, you can donate the money you were going to spend on your meal today, and it'll go to the Oasis Foundation. So the money that you'll be donating will be going to Oasis, which is an organisation which is aimed at eradicating youth homelessness. And the postcard that you're signing will be sent as a big message to people of significance that can make a change and eradicate youth homelessness and do something to make a change. So what you'll be doing will be making a great impact, especially the more people we have, the more of an impact it will make. So.